Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that anything I say about any of these characters, I really don't care. And um, even though I say it like I really disrespect anyone that has like uses like your your Richie Bay or um, you know, after image characters, I really could give less of a shit. It's really for um the video. Uh, because the reason why I'm saying this is because some of you guys actually take what I say a little bit too um too hard or too personal because it's like whenever I like roast one of these characters I think some of you guys actually get confused if I'm saying your like actual name or not <laughs> but uh yeah that's basically it um also I really don't care what character any of you guys play like if you're playing like a fusion character or if you're playing someone that's usually high, like high DP or has like auto dodges, I really don't give a shit. Everybody spends $70 in this game and I'm not going to expect you or anyone to not play the characters that they want to play. Even if they're cheese or whatever. Because you are just playing the character that you want to play and you spend $70 so you should be able to do that. So yeah, I'm going to get started with the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so for our first character, Goku Z Early. If you're playing this character, you're probably old as shit. You are the most NPC person in the world because i don't think anybody would actually play goku z early because he has no transformations he he is not g'd up he doesn't really have crazy uh, abilities or like very flashy abilities there's not much to say about him if you're playing this character i generally think you're an npc because i think they only put this character just because they can then we go into goku z mid this is just an upgraded version of regular goku z early you are probably I say five inches this is the most normal if okay so he's definitely five inches six inches right here if you play this character definitely six inches you are an npc same shit there is the same thing you, this is his transformation you are playing quite literally like the like oldest versions well not the oldest versions but pretty old version of goku when you could just play his newer versions that have a lot more flashier and cooler transformations and just funner to play as now, if you're playing as Goku Z and you are still an old head. If you're playing this version of him, you are definitely an unk, unk status. You are definitely maybe 40, 50, maybe even 60, 70. You're probably in a coffin right now. This character, if you're playing him, you're old as shit. You were watching Dragon Ball Z in like the 1990s. That was like before I was born. So, yeah, you were literally watching anime before I was born and you're still playing games. Like, get the fuck off. And then we go for his version, same thing. You, you probably nutted the first time he uh, turned into Super Saiyan when he was fighting Frieza. So that's why you go into this form just to reminisce on your the old good days. Before your um, reaction speeds went away and, you know, before you're able to even play this game. Like, you're not even able to play this game. You just come here to reminisce about the good old days. Super Saiyan 2, same shit. Different day. Super Saiyan 3, you are... An addict for the different versions of Goku that are hairy and look like furries more than they look like actual people. And for some reason, this like this version of Super Saiyan 3, uh, well, Super Saiyan 3 always rubbed me the wrong way with no eyebrows. So yeah, you are definitely hella old and you just like hairy characters. And now, just because I mean this character, we are giving a solid 12 inches. This character, anyone that plays regular Goku Super especially, all the respects to them you get best of all worlds you get goku you get super saiyan goku you get super saiyan goku god you get super saiyan blue you get fusion you have the option to fuse into the the um, pussy unrespected version vegito or you get the option to transform into the most goaded drawn animated character gogeta so you know there's not much to say. Goku Super is the best version of Goku. If you want to have the highest testosterone, if you want to looks max IRL without looks maxing and just choosing a character, Goku will quite literally make you from like a 5 and bring you straight up to a 10. Now, if you're playing Goku Ultra Instinct Sign, you, your parents never really loved you, but they were able to get a couple hugs on you because you would dodge everything, but because it was Sign, you weren't able to dodge all of it, so... You would get hugged maybe once in your life. But Master Ultra Instinct, you never your parents never loved you. You dodge you were able to you managed to dodge every one of your mom's attacks. Every one of your mom's hugs, your um embraces, you dodge all of that. And you dodge all pussy too, so you are a loner. So that's Goku Super Ultra Instinct. Now if you're playing mini Goku, I have absolutely no respect for you, even though I main this character and he's one of my mains. Guys, I have to confess this in. 
this whole time, I'm not gonna lie, my team was Goku, Mini Goku GT, and Vegeta, Super Vegeta. I, for the, how long I've been playing this game, I have never noticed that Goku GT had after image strike. Oh my god. I didn't know my I didn't know what character I main have at, has after image strike. Oh my I I passed up so many free wins. And I, I gave so much hate to anyone that plays after image strike, but now like I think like I had to record this video twice and I like I think it was a sign for me to see what sin I've committed. Holy shit. I was going to say I don't respect anyone that plays Goku GT except for myself, but I don't think I can respect myself anymore just because that version of him has After Image Strike. And if you transform into any of these versions, you are probably a bigger loser. Even though this version of him has After Image Strike, you are playing this Goku Super Saiyan 4 just because you want to be a little hairy, ego, um, edgy. I don't know, you're just a furry. You're a furry that is also like old. You're like an old furry. This is what old furries like. And then we got this version of Goku, Goku Teen. If you're playing him, I think I have never seen anyone play him, but you are playing him and he has after image strike. I have no respect for you. And I'm pretty sure he uses the flying Nimbus. So that shit always throws me off because I'm like, what game are we playing right now? And then we go into Goku Mini. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody play this character. This is probably the one of the least played Gokus. And I don't know why this Goku's in the game. They could have easily put like granola, gas, any any of the characters in the manga and they chose to just put this little shit so we got this version of vegeta i have versed almost nobody playing this version of vegeta but i did play against one of them and i can't respect him he is probably I, i'm giving he's giving me three inches and then when you go into his bigger form you think the the inches would increase but no they actually decrease he gets put into the negative zone negative three inches great ape vegeta you are mainly playing him because you're trying to be a big character and you don't know how to dodge you don't know how to block you don't know how to counter so you're playing this character just because you just want to spam square or x depending on what you play on to just you know win games like uh, like i hate these big characters and then we got vegeta z early if you're playing vegeta z early you're old as shit but you're a chill old as shit you are playing vegeta because you never won in life and you're reflecting that off your character choice and I'm not going to lie, he probably has the most, like, mid-transformations. He has the Aki, super-built, super Vegeta, but honestly, all, almost all the super-built, like, character versions are usually always slow as shit, so there's no reason to ever play them. Now, if you're playing Vegeta ZN, you are definitely old, because I know all the old heads love Majin Vegeta. For some reason, everyone that's, like, past 30 years old love, love, absolutely love this version of Maj uh, Majin um Majin Vegeta, they just, I don't know, it's like literally they have posters of him, I think they probably jerked off to him a couple of times, there are like wallpapers, Majin Vegeta, too much love, I don't know where the love's coming from, I think I'm too young to know why. And then we go to Vegeta Super, I literally have him on my team, I almost never played him, I never play him, I literally use him just so I could fuse into Gogeta Super Blue, but definitely give him some respects, he's not a bad character, he's kind of mid, so... Definitely some respects. Usually I wipe the floor with um, anyone that's playing Vegeta in every form of him. And then we got Vegeta GT Super Saiyan 4. Can't really give any more respect, like, less respect to any of these characters. They're literally, like, the furry, the like, all the furries that are coming now today. This was, like, before. This is, like, the furries of an older generation. This was, like, the furries of Generation X. Now, Gohan, I hate this fucking character in anime, and I hate this character in-game. I never really watch Dragon Ball Z like that. I'm not gonna lie, most of my Dragon Ball Z knowledge comes off TikToks and the games I played. I literally got all my st uh, story timeline and everything I know about Dragon Ball from either TikTok or just the Dragon Ball, Z uh, Dragon Ball games and playing through the campaign. So, Gohan, every time I seen him, little shit, didn't want to fight, and then he'd be like, ah, he would have, like, the most potential, but dude would never want to fight. So, yeah, and this this version of him is, like, the, like, weirdest. You're only playing him for after image, and you want to play as Gohan for some reason. And then this version of Gohan, I, like, I can't 
Like, whenever I play this, like, against anyone that's playing as this version of Gohan, I can only imagine, like, someone with glasses, like, scrawny, uh, like, probably, like, a liberal playing this version of him. Same thing for the other two versions of him. Like, absolutely no respect, I'm sorry. And then we get to his older version. This has a little bit more respect because he is very, like, strong. And I guess older Gohan is kind of chill, but even then he's the same shit because... You know, he has the power of a Super Saiyan. He could literally just dog everyone. He could literally just play sports and just always be OP and just be a millionaire. Dude decides to go to fucking college. So you're telling me you are deadass stronger than every human, like, in the world. And instead of just taking advantage of that and playing sports and becoming a millionaire, you're telling me you still want to go to fucking college? Yeah, absolutely fucking, like the most minimal amount of respect and then he has this whack ass power ranger outfit this shit is fucking ugly as shit don't know whoever plays him and then we got ultimate gohan more respect because this is when he gets his back ass back into fighting and i can't wait to uh they give him his white hair transformation so everything i just said about gohan reverse it times it by 10 because gohan future is actually the most g'd up version of gohan and it was one of my one of my favorite characters this was the gohan with massive balls this was the gohan fighting back he was fighting back and protecting his fan but he failed this shit was sad this is the like i literally saw this tiktok clip and that was the closest i've been to crying tiktok i literally seen him off tiktok and that tiktok shit really hurt my feelings so if you play him, you are definitely rocking 8 inches. There's there's not much to say. He's a G'd up. Same thing for Piccolo. There's not much to say. You are like a chill side character. You are getting a good 5 inches. You probably bag a lot of bitches. Okay, good 6 inches. I'm going to give that to them. And especially he doesn't after, after image. So, And then we get to this bald little shit after image strike and solar flare. He, like, he's never beating me, but he's very fucking annoying to beat. Like, it's like, it's like a... It's like you're beating up on a, like, 11-year-old that fucking sticked his tongue out on you. But when you're beating the shit out of him, he's actually putting a decent fight. Like, that's the that's way I see Krillin. He's like, I'm beating the shit out of him. But he's, like, after him, just, uh, like, in doing that, he's trying to win me in a, like, he's trying to win in a scummy-ass way. Only character I can respect with After Image is Yamcha. The only reason why I respect him with After Image is because he is actually so useless, he needs this shit. If, like he's the only one that they shouldn't nerf after image on because he is dead ass like he takes so much L and uh, L's in the anime and he takes L's in this game and he's just an L he needs this shit he needs something to keep him back into the fight TN this is well, by far I think one of the most chopped fucking characters without trying to be chopped in the anime bro has three ugly ass eyes and then he has two big ass eyebrows they almost connect to make a unibrow I'm pretty sure if he went to the Looks Maxers app, he probably got like a 1 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10 because holy fuck, nobody is smashing that. And then we go on to... Wow. We go we go to the other spectrum. We go to the most G'd up character, most coolest character in the fucking anime, Trunks. Trun he Every time he's in the anime, aura as fuck. And he is the only character in Dragon Ball Z with a brain. Whenever they go up against any character that could transform or any character that might take over or destroy the earth. After he beats their ass, he usually always fucking kills them and never lets them transform. He's the only one with a brain. Every version of him is G'd up. He has a sword in this version, so he gets extra G points. However, one catch. Look at his techniques. Look at the technique information and then look at his top skill. What does it say? After image. Just because of that, this is probably... The weakest version of Trunks. And if you're playing this version of him, you are actually a bitch. Now, if you play any other version of him, you are G'd up. You are G'd up. He doesn't have a sword, so you're just a little G'd up. Uh, less G'd up. G'd up. G'd up, but you might be fucking retarded. Super G'd up. Sword, no after image, G'd up. Another G'd up character. Not G'd up at all. After image, get the fuck out of here. And then we got this version of him. G'd up, but why are you trying to play as a minor? Now we go to Go 10. This character, dead ass. First of all, after image, fucking L. Second of all, 
he's only there just to be um someone that trunks uses to transform into his fusion i swear that like goten is probably the character that has gone like he's quite literally just younger goku not much to say and then super saiyan goten i don't think anyone has ever used that <coughs> we go into vegito there's two types of people in this world there's the ones that like the fusion um vegito and there's the ones that like the version of gogeta i guess you guys could probably guess who i am i am the fan of gogeta even though gogeta has a big ass forehead i still like him more than vegito and i know why because i have a big ass forehead and me and gogeta connect like this I played him in a mobile game, and guess what was my first S-ranked character on the Dragon Ball mobile game? It was Gogeta. Well, guess what was that movie I liked the most from Dragon Ball Z? The super where drag uh where Gogeta fought against a uh, fought against Broly. What do you think is my favorite fight in Dragon Ball Z? When Gogeta fought Broly. What do you think is my favorite move in Dragon Ball Z? I gotta see this. It's Meteor Explosion. So yeah, Gogeta is my favorite, and what does that say about Vegito? Bitch. Bitch made. This version of Vegeta, uh, Vegito, definitely somewhat respect. Kind of cool. Kind of G'd up. But not my type. Not my type of character. This version of him. Oh, I swear. I think the, if you select this character, you are always so shit at the game. For some reason, every Super Vegito I go up against... It's like, it's, I'm actually playing the game on easy mode. Like, like I, I play ranked a lot, and I'm like, um, I'm pretty high up there. I don't really play a lot anymore. But, like, I, I get relieved when I'm playing, like, against a D5 or a C5 because I'm in, like, B, but I usually verse um, similar matchmaking. So, I really never go against those uh, that low of a level. But, when I see Super Vegito and I see that they're A5, I'm like, huh. Nothing to worry about here. This guy is fucking dog shit. He's only up here because he has after image strike and then I beat their ass And then if you're versing him, I respect you for not going super Vegito But honestly this version's worse than super Vegito. So just play Ve Gogeta Super Gogeta never played him Can't really transform it to him. He is the only version of Gogeta that you can't really fuse into But yeah, I mean there's not much to say about him never really played him uh, just used all their version and then we go to this the spanking Beautiful version of Gogeta this Gogeta allows you to go into other forms of Gogeta However, I'm saying this if you are picking these fusion characters right off the bat You lose 10 fucking aura points because you didn't fuse into them when you fuse into them It's a different type of aura. It's like you guys are having this insane fight And then when the fight is like getting hard like actually animate like this is fucking Anime, canon, anime, accurate, movie, accurate. Like, your characters can handle the fight or it's such a close fight that you guys fuse. But if you choose a fusion straight out, you are, you are bitch made. And then we're going to, we're going to just say that for Gogeta. Um, and then Super Gogeta, same thing. If you transform into him, you're goaded. If you didn't, if you just picked him straight out, you are low-key a bitch. And then we go into my favorite version of Gogeta. When I play this version of Gogeta, I actually feel like I'm an anime. Like, check my last vid out. You will see me playing this version of Gogeta. Absolutely amazing. I put people in packs with this character. And then we go into the best character style-wise in the game. If you play this character, I mean, I don't give a shit if you're playing the best stat character. I really don't actually, like, out of all the, like, super expensive characters, even though he has the best stats, I mind him the least. Because it's like you're playing a trade-off. You're playing the character with the most stats. But you are giving a lot of DP just to play him. But you are a fur fester. You are a Gen X furry. If you're playing this character. And uh, you probably like animals. I would not leave you um, near my cat. Then we got Gotenks. This shit is ugly as shit. Why is he... The top of his hair is black. And then the side of his hair is like purple. But looks like gray. So he looks old as shit. Never really liked this fusion. In the anime. In the game. Nothing. Now if we go into this version... First of all, weird you're playing a minor. Second of all, really don't care. Probably the most G'd up little character because almost all the little characters have after and mid strike. So definitely G'd up. You're playing this version. Usually I don't like Super Saiyan 3 versions of him, but this guy looks like a porky porcupine and fighting against this little shit is actually fun. So you're definitely G'd up, fucking cool as shit. And then we go to the most, I hate this character, Krillin. So he had solar flare, all that. Didn't fucking like it. You play Master Roshi, however. I fucking hate you. 
I hate anyone that plays any character with after image strike. Bro, that's literally 15 seconds of absolute enroll. Like, literally, you're almost invincible for 15 seconds. You can't get hit. You literally can't get it. Um, sir, why don't you use key blast against them? You dumb little shit. What do you think? What do you think they have to do to stop you from hitting them with key blast? All you have to do is do this. Oh, you hold this. Hold this. They, they, you literally become invincible. And guess what? If they have no key and you're spamming after image like it's coming out of your fucking penis and you're like on their ass, they literally can't shoot any key blast. It's, it's, it, you're literally going to be spamming their fucking after image. This is for people that don't know how to perfect block. They don't know how to perfect vanish. They don't know how to fucking dodge attacks. They don't know how to sidestep. So they use after image because I literally fought a Broly. I smoke like he was smoking my characters because Broly was just fucking ult spamming, ult spamming me the whole time. And then when I killed him off, or like Broly, he you had this little shit on his side, and another character with after image strike. And guess what I did to both of them? He didn't know how to fucking play because after I took out his Broly cheese ultimate spamming, he went to these characters even with after image. I smoked his ass still. And that was my last video for anyone that wants to watch Shameless Pug, Master Roshi max power, definitely a little bit more respect, but. I just don't like Master Roshi. Now, if you play Frieza first form, you are definitely a nerd. You definitely look like this. Like, look. Look at the height. Look at the build. Look at the glasses. You are this. This is how you look in real life. Play this version. I'm not going to say you look like this in real life. L like, non-existence. I don't think anyone play mains this version of him. You main him. You are maining him for the fucking memes. You probably have a crazy-ass gamer tag. And your team looks fucking awesome. Final form Frieza. I, I mean, I don't really, like, I really don't care about Frieza, but if you play him, you're probably a nerd. You're like, actually, smarts actually overpower power. And you're like, yeah, you might be a UFC fighter, but I have a 4 GPA. So that goes for literally every version of uh, Frieza, especially Golden Frieza. This colorway looks so fucking disgusting. Now we go to Cell. First Cell, actually, you're, like, any, just saying this, you main Cell, you're old as shit. You are... Uh, well above like 30 years old you might you're close to the grave you're unk status now if you go into this second form you are there's nobody but mains this form or this form they literally play these forms so they go go into perfect cell and fucking no respect just because that right there is after image we do not respect any any person that uses after image and he's probably like the higher dp character that is able to use after image and then this version of perfect cell well respected he doesn't have after image now we go to Majin Buu. I have not really seen anyone that mains Majin Buu, but definitely g up. That Majin Buu, you're probably a fat guy in real life, but you're a fucking chill. Evil uh, Majin Buu, you're probably skinny as shit, but you're chill as fuck. And if you're Super Buu, probably Aki as fuck, but chill as fuck. And then we have Super Buu, definitely g up as well. I just love Buu. And then you have Gohan Infuse. You see, you're even... Wow. I was gonna say G'd up, but then I saw after image skipping through this character. Dog shit. Kid Boo, G'd up. Fucking most black force energy, whatever. G'd up. Mr. Same, you're playing him for the memes, and I ironically, you're probably trying with him, and you're getting smoked. Now, Chotzi, or whatever his name is, I hate this little shit. Your, your whole team looks like. Ch Ch I don't. I, you guys are like. You never watched the anime. Yes, I don't fucking watch the anime. Guess what? I don't even have to pronounce some of their names right because they're cheap ass fucking characters. Same. Their whole team. This is what their team looks like. Chutsui. This shit. Master Roshi and Krillin. And then one like super like. Okay. Your your true your Richie. Oh my. Your Richie Bay. And then Chutsui and probably Master Roshi. And then they would have like su one like super strong character. And they would just like hold off with these characters because they don't know how to fight. And it was just after image and then switch to this character to try to heal as much as possible. When you play this character, you are definitely vagina. You are negative three inches with him and you are negative 10 inches with him. You have the deepest, fattest pussy when you're playing uh, Yurichi Bay. This character is actually so shit. Like, and some of you guys are like, oh, but it's actually anime accurate that uh, he, the Zentu Beans, heal him full health. Well, okay, now we're talking about, um, what actually would be canon and realistic. Guess what? I'm playing Gogeta, fucking kamehameha ing the shit out of him. He should- He should be dead. He should be ash, he should be paste on the floor. And then, on top of that, okay, regardless- Oh, it's, it's not gonna be balanced, okay? 
the Zentu beans, the ones that he pulls out of his ass every time he's getting smoked. My Kamehameha and my fucking 3,000 punches to his head should make him drop those Zentu's, uh, Zentu beans or absolutely destroy his fucking pouch. Because this little shit, and then some people are like, it's not OP too. Like, bro. Look, I beat almost every Yurichi Bay that I go up against, right? It's not, it's, uh, uh, that's not the problem. I beat their ass. It's just that they are annoying to fight against. And it's still OP. Because guess what? When you're playing ranked, everybody's playing very serious. So you're telling me, I could beat his ass, hit him in an infinite combo. Every time he, like, gets out of my combo, I, I fucking eat his ass. He tries to hit me, counter, beat the shit out of him. He tries to vanish, I vanish, win to vanish, beat the shit out of him. I do all that, and he's... This, his penis of health right there. You're telling me that as long as he lands one, one move on me, one move to just buy him this much time, a grab, a grab. Imagine all three health bars of his, I destroy completely. He gets one grab on me. The entire, the entire dur um, fucking duration of that. Does he deserve to get full health for that? Now tell me. Is Am I, am I really, is, does that make me the world's shittest player? Is that a skill issue that I smoke him the whole time? And that just because he grabbed me once, he deserves to be full HP again? This, this is, um, this is a thought inducing exercise. So, um, guys, take this, take this, write this on a piece of paper, go home, fill out your thoughts, give me a summary, give me whatever you want, bring it back to the comments and paste it there. And, uh, yeah. Like, we're gonna, like, really go through the process of why Yurichi Bay is actually low-key OP. And then, on top of that, he's fucking 2 DP. Like, he's 2 or 3 DP. I don't know how much he costs, but he's fucking cheap as shit. And then we got this character. We're gonna be completely politically correct. He's fucking awesome. I have never seen one fucking person play any of these, like, two of these characters. Bardock, he gets so much shade just because he's usually, usually the team with these two little shits. But if you don't have him a team with those little two shits, he's actually G'd up. Has pretty cool um, moves. You know, Bardock's just a G. And then we go for Raditz. I don't, I'm pretty sure nobody. Like, when I... Uh, I could literally say anything about Raditz. I won't get a single comment on Raditz just because nobody plays him. We got Nappa. Nappa is like someone that actually lost in life so much. You're probably like a 40-year-old dad that lost his kids to fucking your ex-wife. And just lost the custody battle. You just can't catch a win. And you just want to lose because then it will be cannily, like, it would be accurate um, to the cannon. And then we got this character. This is, like, people that, are like, try to look max IRL. And, like, they actually think they're doing it. They, this is how they think they look. But this is actually how they look. So, yeah, there's not much to say. If you have this character, you're G'd up. This, this character is actually... If you have this character, you, have, you probably have the most... Funniest fucking gamer tag. Same thing with this character. Uh, we, you have the funniest team. You are probably the funnest to go up against. You're actually probably skilled in the game. But you just don't take it too serious. You don't really care about the characters. However, if you're playing Captain Ginyu, no respect. Get the fuck out of here. I understand like some of you guys play this just to make sure the the person doesn't use like a OP character. But damn. When I say this little shit is annoying. Because all you it's like the play style that usually comes with this character is... Let me, it's the same thing as Yurichi Bay. You're trying to, like, buy time. You're trying to stall, get away from the fight so you could do something. You're usually running little, like a little bitch just to get into sparking so you could body change. Raccoon, I don't know. I just don't like Raccoon. Okay, so Raccoon, I really just don't like Raccoon. I feel like Raccoon and Ginyu are probably the worst characters in the Ginyu Force. I just never really liked uh, Raccoon. I think his, his charging animation, I just don't like him. Birder. Was going to give him respect, but then I realized he has after image. He is probably, like, the best character for his price. He's actually, like, really good. Okay, so, yeah. Birder is, like, pretty good. Probably, like, the best best for his um, points. And then we're going to go to the Australian lad right next to him. Uh, I think I've only fought against one person I used him, and he got dogged on. But still, respect the grind. Respect this character. They usually use him because they're rocking the whole Ginyu Force. And then this guy, G'd up. He is probably the most G'd up person IRL. Has the fattest cock. The funnest guy to chill with. This is, I think, the coolest character in the game. 
If you're playing him, you're a fucking G. If you're playing him, this is how you look like IRL. You quite literally have the most sharpest jawline, you're 6 foot 9, and you're a Chad. Now, Android 17, there's not much to say. They're the best, like, most honorable out of all the Androids. Um, Android 17 and Android 18, they're pretty fun to fight against. Nothing crazy about them, but if you go to these Androids, Androids 19 and fucking Dr. Gero. I hate these little shits. I hate both of them. All they do is they, they stay back the whole time. They turtle the whole time until you, like, like try to dodge, uh, do, like, side dodge to get behind them. And then they fucking grab you nonstop. Actually annoying. They're, like, playing only for their grab. I usually beat their ass, but it's annoying because they're, they literally do nothing. All they do want to do is grab you for some reason. Just to take your little health away and just give them health. And now we got Bibbidi. I don't like Bibbidi at all. Bibbidi could actually suck my cock. Because Bibbidi, usually they're playing Bibbidi to, like, heal their other, like, anchor characters. Like, they probably have a Broly and then they probably have Bobbidi. Just so, um, to, like, you know, wizard barrier to defend literally the whole time. That's all Bobbidi is really, you know, known for. And then, don't know, I don't even know, Dabura? Dabura? This is, XQC played him. XQC's ass. I don't know who the fuck this character is. He has after image strike. I don't like this character at all. I'm pretty sure nobody mains him, so I'm literally, like, disrespecting nobody when I'm talking shit about him. Probably XQC only. And now we got Broly. You see, normally I'll respect. I love Broly. Like, Broly in the anime, I'm like, yo, this guy's fucking awesome. He's, like, like fire, so strong. Like this character. But, bro, if you're playing Broly, you're not playing for Broly, the regular form. You're not playing Broly for his second Super Saiyan form. You're playing Broly just so you could get to this version. The lot. The legendary Super Saiyan. You you just want the fucking hyper armor. You wanna you, you just don't know how to you don't know how to block. You don't know how to counter. You don't know how to find openings. You don't know how to combo. You are playing this so you could fucking ult spam back to back to back to back. And same literally this version of Broly, same shit, different day. You're it's just which one do you wanna be? Do you wanna be this version of Broly or do you wanna be this version of Broly? Do you want the fucking hyper armor and just spam your ultimate not stop and go into sparking literally 24-7? Yes. So yeah, that's basically what you guys are. Metacooler. Metacooler is, he's literally like the androids, but I guess a little bit more respect just because he looks cooler and it's probably funner to fight against. But he regenerates his um, key like all the other androids, which makes them very annoying because they know that and they're just trying to be like little shits. But yeah, not much to say about him. Then we got Bojack. I think I am quite literally roasting nobody. I, have, I don't think there's a main out there. If you, like, if you, you're maining him, you are almost extinct. So, uh, yeah. Janebe, only big character I respect because he, bro, just look at him. He's G'd up. Whenever I see this motherfucker fight, he has the best just fighting. He hits you with his stomach. He smacks you with his hands. And then, on like, it's funny. And it's, like, his animations are all really funny. And then his grab, or I think it's his special move where he throws you up and then does a backflip kick while he's, like, 8 million pounds. Fucking awesome. And then his ultimate is fire shit too. When you see his ultimate, he's fucking... He brings you into a different dimension starts beating his shit out of you. Pretty cool. And then we go into um, Super Janembe. If you're playing him, you're actually so fun to fight against. Like, every time I see him vanish, I actually look so cool. I was actually thinking about maining Super Janembe just because of how fun they are to fight against. And I'm guessing how fun they are to play with. Baby Vegeta... Still, I like normally uh, you you everyone would think I would hate this characters off uh, this character off what I said about every other character, but honestly, I like fighting against these character uh, this character. I actually like fire shit. However, you played this a version, I fucking hate you. I, I like I heard so many like TikToks of people like struggling to beat these um, big version of characters. I never really went against them in ranked, but I don't know if they're strong or they're weak. So someone's gonna have to tell me that in the comments. Shenron has my posture, so I can't really diss him that much because he is quite literally standing the way I stand IRL. Barris, you are a furry. I I'm pretty sure the only time I first against like anybody that had Barris in their team, they most likely had a full furry team. Still respect it because Barris is a G. Barris is a G in the anime. He's, uh, I think he's kind of decent to f uh, play with. Doesn't have the most uh, flashy supers, but yeah. We, this is if you are a zester fester. This is if you um like men, but still, I mean the character is fun. Oh, like literally instant dodges. But I guess you you got hugged by men because there's no way you're a zester fester without getting hugged by men. So unlike 
Goku Ultra Instinct, uh, he didn't get hugged, but you at least got hugged, but just by the wrong audience, I guess. And then we got Zamasu, fucking nerds, nerds. I think only nerds play this fucking character. Like, oh, I don't own all the characters, so I'm also bring up Goku Black. Goku Black's a G, even though it's quite literally like Zamasu. I never really watched anime, so I don't even know if that's true. But yeah, don't like Zamasu at all. This fucking, this little rat. After Image Strike 2, yeah, no respect. Hit, he's like low-key useless in this game. He's not really that strong. And I'm pretty sure he always gets a bad rap, so... Pretty sure all of you guys are just fucking losers. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that because I believe it, but it's just, you know, it's a rap you guys get every game, so I'm gonna have to give you guys the same shit. Kaba, if you have Kaba on your team, you're actually G'd up. The thing about Kaba, respectable. G'd up character. Mid, like, mid DP costs. And it's usually these guys that have Kaba on their team have the funniest fucking gamer tags. I literally went up against uh, Kaba, and his gamer tag was Chase Bank Glitch. Actually, one of the funnest um, matches I had playing uh, this game. Now we go to the other spectrum, Kefla. Literally, Kefla, Cauliflower, or the other one. Hate all versions of the fucking Super Saiyan bitch. Look how she's just looking at the screen, bro. So full of herself, so fucking ugly. I actually hate these little shits. They play these characters just to old spam. It's quite literally old, the only reason why they play uh, Kefla. Just to old spam 24-7. Yeah. So uh, Kefla is literally just old spammer. There's not much to say about Kefla. That's the only way they play her. Then we go to Jiren. Jiren's G'd up like always. It, I mean, I, I really don't care. If you play him in the 1v1 uh, game mode, it's fine. Because you really can't play him uh, any other mode because of how much DP he costs. And he's not like the most OP. But he's like... He's like a character that's OP if you're good at this game. So that's why I respect Jiren. But I've never really seen too many Jiren mains. I have almost never seen a Topo main. I don't think I've ever versed against a Topo in online. Ever. So yeah. Then we go to this character. I think I've only versed one person that had her on the team. It's because they had all the girl characters like from that universe. Like the Cupcake universe. But yeah, that's basically it. I don't own all the characters, so if you guys like this video, please give a give me a like and sub, and just put down in the comments if you want me to do this again, just with the characters I don't own, and uh, yeah, I will be down to do that.